If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. To have more, you simply have to become more. I wish you the courage to be warm when the world would prefer you be cool. I wish you success sufficient to your needs. I wish you failure to temper that success. I wish you joy in all your days. I wish you sadness so that you may better measure joy. I wish you gladness to overbalance the grief. I wish you humor and a twinkle in your eye. I wish you glory and strength to bear the burdens. I wish you sunshine on your path and storms to season your journey. In order for something new to come, something old must go. And that old can sometimes mean let go of what you know until now. Most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. You literally have to become someone else. If you keep thinking the same thoughts, keep demonstrating the same behaviors, keep living by the same feelings and emotions, your personal reality is going to stay exactly the same. But if you have new thoughts that lead to new choices, that demonstrate new actions, that create new experiences, that cause you to feel differently, you will begin to walk into a new future. Sometimes you will have to convince yourself that it's possible, that you can go from zero to hero, from peasant to king, if you change the way that you think. And if you don't know how to change the way that you think, begin to digest new information. Stay away from the haters, stay away from the losers, stay away from the people with weak minds and weak mentalities, and find those people that empower you, find those people, elevate your spirit and your soul, and understand that your potential, my friend, is limitless. You, my friend, are limitless but you must believe. And if you can believe, all things are possible. All you have is this moment, so you have to continuously focus on bringing attention to this moment and keep reminding yourself that, what decision can I make in this moment that is aligned with the best version of myself, that is aligned with the vision of where I'm trying to get to? If you look at stories of great men, of great women in history, that story always has a lot of disadvantages that were overcome. There is something in the process of overcoming hardship that creates greatness. Most people quit through that process. If you can survive it, then your story will be a great one. You gotta bet on you. It's so funny that you believe in others. You would bet on others. You would support others. You would be there for others. But when it comes to you, you take a darn back seat. I don't understand it. I'm a bet on me. I needed somebody and they didn't do it. So I decided at that point, I guess, I don't need you. The only person I need is me. And I'll be damned if I'm ever gonna need somebody. I ain't needing somebody. I'll be damned if I'm ever gonna need somebody again. Don't be afraid of people rejecting. Stick to your guns. That fear, it just withers the soul and makes what you create just like everything else out there. But when you think, no, I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna mind what's different about me, I'm gonna be bold and confident. Those who are, who are trying to follow all the trends don't have impact. Find out what you're good at. Find out what craft or thing or what are you good at, what you have an aptitude for. Do you like history? Do you like math? Do you like artwork? Do you like music? Do you like, you find out what you have a natural inclination towards. You find out what you're good at. And then you figure out how to help other people with that thing that you're good at. And once you figure that out, that's purpose. Two plus two equals four. So what are you good at? How can you help other people? That's your purpose. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you and you can change it, you can influence it, you can, you can build your own things that other people can use. Shake off this uh, notion that life is, is there and you're just gonna live in it. Embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. Remember, you guys only have one life on this earth, okay? It's not too late to change everything. Get up, guys. Make today the day. 
The more I listen to this, the better my life gets. If they don't have what you want, don't listen to what they say. There's no greater waste of time than justifying your actions to people who have a life you don't want. Build a vision of what you would like to accomplish between now and the end of the year. And then make a written description of that vision. Paint the picture with words. Vision. Vision is going to direct your life if you let it. Use it constructively. See what you want. Don't spend any time thinking of what you don't want. When you get a picture in here, make it big, make it beautiful. You'll be glad you did. What we feel is what manifests. It's the energy that we put out that we get back. Claim it in your heart right now. Who do you want to be? How do you want to feel? What do you want to give? And what do you want to receive? And ask yourself that. Design your day every single day. You have the power within you to design your life. What you see is a reflection of what you believe. So are we going to say yes to a new belief system now? Do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. Do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. Don't wait, start right now whether you're ready or not. Just say, I'm going after it, I'm going to get it, and your present circumstance has got nothing to do with where you're going. You've gotta accept yourself for what you've done wrong. Do your best and also find some difficult sh to do because that gets away a lot of the anxiety that you carry around in your body. Difficult things, make regular life less difficult. Anything is possible here that you're only limited by your imagination. Now, it's not gonna be handed to you. You have to, you have to find your way through. And there'll be times that you're going to hit dead ends, but you have to pick yourself back up. You have to be smart. You have to calculate another route, and then you gotta keep moving forward. At some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Everything's gonna go south, and you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I am. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just begin. You do the math, you solve one problem, and you solve the next one. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's gonna happen. All that matters is that you gotta get up. Work hard, be somebody. Be something more than what you see in the mirror. Let the world be your mirror. Don't let them judge you, because the mirror can't judge you. You judge what you see in the mirror. There's a great Chinese expression, a great old proverb. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Just be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to live anybody else's story. Sometimes people make it seem like you have to have certain prerequisites or, or a crazy life story in order to be successful in this world. But the truth is, you, you really don't. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you have or don't have, what you lack. All you need to have is an undying passion for what you do and a relentless drive and the will to do whatever it takes to be successful. There's a moment when every boy realizes no one's coming to save him. And that's when he becomes a man. And some boys never get there and stay children forever. You're not allowed to give excuses because excuses are a sign of weakness. We give no excuses when we fail. Failure is just fertilizer to help us grow as a team. Guys, in life, you know, Winning isn't everything, but training to win is. Having the will to win, that is everything. Whether you win or not, you can, people are gonna fail. You gotta get back up and try it again. But if you don't have the will to win, and you don't train to win, that's where you're really missing, missing the mark, guys. You ever had a gut feeling that maybe you were meant for more? <laughs> what if you were everything you could be? Fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. We're all trying to improve ourselves. No one's perfect. 
This is not, I'm not perfect now, I never will be, you're not, and you never will be, but you're better than you were yesterday, and you're gonna be better tomorrow. You know the greatest lesson my mother ever taught me? When I was a kid, whatever I started, I had to finish it. Whether I got in the midst of something and didn't care for a coach, whether I got in the midst of an organization and didn't care for a leader, my mother would never let me start something and stop because she would always say, the person that you will become by enduring the process is far more important than the person that you have to deal with in the midst of the process. Your present or past results have absolutely nothing to do with what's going to happen from this point forward. You see, I kept thinking, well, gee, I'm such a mess up. You know, I've done everything wrong up till now. I'm 26. I'm broke. I'm not happy. Everything was wrong. That's all in the past. Every moment is a new moment. Success is a strange thing. Presumably, we want success because we think a more successful life will bring us more happiness, meaning, and fulfillment. Here's the problem. We sacrifice the thing we want, happiness, for the thing which is supposed to get it, success. Failure can make you miserable, but I'm not sure that success will make you happy. I am only worthy of love, acceptance, and belonging if I succeed. Now, powered by internal feelings of insufficiency, this person is driven to achieve many things. They're prepared to outwork, outhustle, and outsuffer everyone else because they're not just running toward a life they want, they're running away from a life that they fear. Success and progress ameliorates the feelings of insufficiency. Therefore, success and progress have become prioritized above everything else. Character is at the core of a person, something they can't control, something that comes from deep within, and it causes people to have patterns of behavior. And you want to find people who have a strong character to associate with, as opposed to a weak character. And what a strong character is, is people who are adaptable, who are fluid, who can admit that they are wrong, who can learn from their experience, who can take criticism. So I want you to focus not on people's charming exterior, instead focus on that deep inner quality, that core, that character, because that's who they really are. Your character is creating what happens to you in life. There's the famous quote of the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus, character is fate. As I continue to experience life and find myself, I realize that hope isn't what I thought it was. Through a lot of sorrow, it's actually been redefined for me. And I ask myself the question, what if my pain is actually my hope? So many of us are at war with ourselves within. We have that inner conflict because we're trying to portray this image that is, you know, acceptable in the world around us that we think is acceptable instead of just staying true to you. And yes, when you stay true to yourself, you're gonna, people are gonna look at you a certain way. People are gonna try to knock you off your path. There's gonna be a lot of external things that, you know, try to sway you this way or that way, but you gotta stay true to you. Here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is gonna turn everything on.